This is the story of Amy's Elevator. Amy's Elevator is just one example of how we can use training to make the world a safer place for our pets. My rats love spending time in their play area. Everyone, that is, except for Amy. Amy would much rather run around on the living room floor. So, when Amy gets bored, she just jumps down to the floor. As a result, Amy is the only rat who is allowed on the floor. Amy is a pretty old rat and she is beginning to have some health problems. So, I've started to worry about the jumping. Amy could really hurt herself if she landed the wrong way. I have thought about not putting her in the play area anymore, but Amy does occasionally like being there and playing with the other rats. So, after thinking about this for a while, I decided that what I needed was a very clear way for Amy to ask to move from the play area to the floor or vice versa. Amy needed an elevator. I started by teaching Amy how to ask to get down from an ottoman. The ottoman is pretty short, so if Amy did decide to jump off during the training, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. As you can see, Amy is not thrilled about being on the ottoman. Amy's elevator is a block of wood. She can ask to go to the floor by getting on top of it. Amy has a long history of clicker training and is good at problem solving. I have also taught her in the past how to get on top of different kinds of objects. So, when I first put the block of wood on the ottoman, she was quick to investigate. We repeated this a handful of times. I would put Amy and the block of wood on the ottoman. When she climbed on the elevator, she would get to ride down to the floor. Then, she would get several minutes of playtime on the floor. We didn't need any treats for this because getting to run around on the floor is a big reward for Amy. After practicing on the ottoman, I decided to see if Amy would understand how to use the elevator in the actual play area. To make it easier for Amy, I put the elevator near the spot where she usually jumped to the floor. Amy immediately figured out how to use the elevator to ask me to move her to the floor. Both of these clips are from Amy's first day using the elevator in the play area. This training actually took place about four months ago in September. Since then, Amy has not once jumped out of the play area. She always asks to use her elevator. Now, it wouldn't be an elevator if it didn't also go up. However, Amy very rarely asks to go up using her elevator. We can use positive training methods to make the world a happier, safer place for our pets. If you liked this video, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to also follow my blog at stalecheerios.com.